I started this Light of the Infinite project after my mom passed away, which at this point is almost three years ago. And around this time, I stopped saying Kaddish for her because you say it for a year. Kaddish ends in the same way as the silent prayer of the Shemona Asrei, which we say, Ose Shalom Bimomav, which is he who makes peace in high places. And Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs shares this story where somebody came up to Rabbi Shmuel Salant, who deals in family disputes, and they asked him, how do you bring peace? How do you end conflict? And he asked them, what do you do when you say, Ose Shalom Bimomav? And the person replied, you take three steps back. And he said, that, that's how you end dispute. Each party has to take three steps back. Without taking a step back and sacrificing a little of what you want for the sake of someone else, peace is paused because we have to compromise and sacrifice some of what we want for some of what the other person wants. That's how true peace is manifested. Right now in this time leading up to the new year, Rosh Hashanah, we have to find peace within ourselves, within the seven emotional attributes of the 10 spherot. We're bringing our body in alignment with our soul. Our soul is represented by the promised land. So my blessing to you is that you tap into the spirituality, into the soul, and find peace within both the body and alignment with the soul. And this should usher in redemptive consciousness and full peace. Shana Tova. Happy New Year.